We have our video back. Everything is looking great. I have two cautions for you, Woody. You can now see live views of the International Space Station rollout solar array as it begins to unfurl as the space station flies over the coast of uh, the southwest United States. This is five less than before. Okay, I copy. Thank you. I'll be cautious. Sounds good to us. Everything's looking really good to us. Again, well done, you two. Woody, again, you have to stay put, but Steve, you can get moving if you want to. We're still well ahead of schedule, so uh, you can stay and look a little longer if you prefer it, but your next step is to pick up your green hook. All right, I head back and pick up my green hook. Yeah. Copy. Woody, if we can, we'd love to adjust your heck of you a little bit. If you could pitch back at all for us, we'd appreciate it. Yep, you got it. Thank you. Woody Hoberg is continuing to monitor the IROSA as it deploys. Meanwhile, uh, Steve Bowen is translating back to the IROSA carrier to reconfigure the carrier beams that previously held the upright IROSA. These beams will need to be rotated out of the way to allow access to the lower IROSA, which will be installed on next week's EBA on June 15th. Copy, Steve. Sounds great. Once fully deployed, the IROSA or International Space Station Rollout Solar Array will measure 60 feet long by 20 feet wide and will shade a little more than half of the original array. Each new IROSA will produce more than 20 kilowatts of electricity and once installed will enable a 30% increase in power production over the, station, over the station's current arrays. Hopefully those came out. We'll see. Copy. Steve, whenever you're ready, you're headed to the FSE. Heading to the FSE. On my way. Copy. I have more questions and warnings for you when you're ready. All right. Give me one second to clear this. I'll be ready. Let me know. I'm ready to copy. Steve, warning and a reminder, grapple shafts and curvet coupling are no touch zones. No sudden movements, quick grabs on the FSE. 
wait until motion dampens out before imparting loads on the FSE. Don't simultaneously impart loads into the FSE. This is for when Woody is also ready to translate. And do not contact the IROSA blanket. Copy. And I copy all. The International Space Station Rollout Solar Array, or IROSA, continues deploy to deploy on the Starboard 4 truss connected to the 1A power channel of the space station as the space station flies over South Dakota. I do not have a fair lead listed for you, Steve, and no green hook drop. Let me just confirm. All right, that's fine. Yeah, I can confirm that now, Steve. Um, there is no action for a fair lead or green hook drop. You are just translating directly onto the FSE from the port CETA cart. So do not take the POA path. Do not take the POA path. Right, I will do that. Okay, for a different path than last time. Good view there, Jenny. Hey, firm. Uh, I think my first bolts are C7C8, correct? Hey, firm, that's right. You're going to be at Stanchion Alpha, and this is a Bravo 7 setting, so you might need to get in a better brace position. All right, focus on our work. Copy, let me know when you're ready for settings. We are nearly complete. More words for you in a minute. Okay, thank you. All right, like the settings for C7, C8. Bravo 7, counter 2. Bravo 7, counter 2. Good readback. You'll be releasing C7 and C8. Expect 8 to 11 turns. 8 to 11 turns, C7, C8. Good words. Here comes C7. Hey, James, it looks to me like motion is stopped. Yep, we're just double checking that we can confirm a good deploy, Woody. What would help us is if you could confirm the bottom five magnets on both booms. We don't need a heck of you, we just need you to see that the magnets have snapped together. Okay. So 1.5 and C7 is stopped out, moving to C8. Copy C7 released, you go for C8. And 
Jones, I'm thinking I might need to move to see those. Do you agree with that, or am I missing something? Magnet. Hey, Farm Woody, you will have to move and you are go to translate right now. Right now, you're seeing views of NASA astronaut Steve Bowen as he works to release the beam restraint bolts. He has already released one of them and has a couple more to go. Copy C8 is released. Steve, stow your PGT and translate to Stanchion Bravo. Translate to Stanchion Bravo. Steve, a delta to your plan. We'll have you continue translation past Stanchion Bravo to Stanchion Charlie because we have enough time for a small efficiency here. <laughs> 